Hey guys, it's punishment week, and I have no idea if I have a punishment or not. And it's like 2 in the morning right now. I don't think anyone's online to answer my question if I have a punishment. Thinking maybe I should do it anyway. But at the same time, no. I don't think I went over any weeks on the minute limit. So I'm gonna say I don't have a punishment. But yes, um, my three favorite YouTubers. I'm gonna say Strawberry17, but I mostly liked her like when she had her more when she had Lifebury because it was like daily vlogs. But I still love her because she's really cute and awesome. And CTFXC, I love Charles and Allie and Zoe and Marley. They're like the cutest dogs ever. And as for my third favorite, I'm kind of hard to choose. Um, Nana Louie used to be one of my favorite YouTubers. I'm doing favorites aside from Vlogbrothers because it's an obvious. But Nana Louie used to be one of my favorites, but she, she's been making a lot of videos lately. But she like kind of just stopped making videos for a while. It made me kind of bummed out. She's always been one of my favorites. So maybe I'll just go with her. I've been kind of like skipping out on a lot of my subscriptions lately. Like, I like Digestine and like Toby Turner, but I just haven't wanted to watch them lately. I've been kind of just annoyed. My nail is peeling. But yes, so there's my three favorite YouTubers. Today, I live in Winnipeg. Don't mind my messy hair. It was really windy today. But I live in Winnipeg. And about 15 years ago, we used to have an NHL team. And then they took them away. I was only five, so I didn't really care. I actually don't really like hockey that much. But today, it was announced that we're getting a new NHL team. That, like, team from Atlanta is moving to Winnipeg. So we get our hockey team back, which is, like, the biggest stereotype of Winnipeg is that we can never let go of the fact that the Jets are gone, which is what the hockey team was before. But today, there was this big announcement that, um, the Jets were back. So there was, like, huge parties all over Winnipeg, like, huge parties just in the street, downtown and stuff. So my friend and I went to one at the place called The Forks that I mentioned in the last video last week. And it was insane. There were so many people everywhere wearing, like, old Jets jerseys and stuff. Also, some bosses at different places gave people, like, employees the rest of the day off to go and celebrate the fact that the Jets are back or whatever they decide to name them are back. Only in Canada will you get a day off from work because of hockey. That is cool. Go Canada! Lisa, I'm really sorry, but I laughed at your video with the cinnamon. I thought it was sad at first because you looked so upset, and then I saw you, like, cough a cloud of cinnamon, and I, I burst out laughing. But I... That would be very painful, so I can sympathize. And Maggie, your food makeup picture for your food makeup tutorial was awesome and I, I wish to see this video but yeah so if I had a punishment and somehow missed out on that memo you guys can double punish me but I don't remember having a punishment today can't wait to see the rest of the videos this week if there's more punishments they should be interesting and um go Jets go even though I probably will never go to a game it's exciting that we will finally have a hockey team and everyone can quit speculating and whining and it was just really cool today that everyone was so happy in a city that everyone always complains about because we have really crappy weather. By the way, team from Atlanta, Atlanta Thrashers, you're from somewhere warm, you're gonna hate the weather here. Throwing that out there, not that anyone from a hockey team will ever watch this, but the weather here sucks. By the way guys, I've had Hunger Games on my bookshelf since January because I got it for my birthday from my mom but I haven't read it yet and I started reading it today I'm only on like chapter three but I like it so far I didn't really like it at first I was kind of like what but now I enjoy it so I might finish reading that within like two days so I'll let you guys know what I think about it and I'll probably read the other ones within the next like two weeks if I can but yes DFTBA